Hey guys, so this is what you're going to be needing for the lace closure wig. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm measuring the bald head mannequin head. Just to show you that you can use this also to make your wig. You can use the bald head mannequin head or you can use a canvas head. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm grabbing the spandex dome cap. I'm just making sure that everything is uh, right with it and fitted properly okay and you want to also make sure that you take their nape measurement okay so now I'm, I'm aligning the lace closure and I bring it just a little bit above the dome cap and I'm using ball pins to secure it down So I put it on both corners and I also put the ball pin in the back, in the middle, and then also on the, the two corners of the closure. You want to make sure you get, that your closure is flat and smooth. Okay, so now what I'm doing, I'm grabbing the needle and I'm bringing it through the net, not the elastic band. And you'll see what I'm talking about when you start making your wig. Because if you bring the needle through the elastic band, you're causing the wig not to be able to move. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm doing the loop and stitch to sew down the closure and I do one side at a time and I did the other side the same way okay so what I'm doing now is I'm grabbing the Janet collection 28 pieces and I'm starting at the nape And I'm stitching it down with the loop and stitch technique. And you can secure the track with a loop and stitch or a blanket stitch. Okay, if you see that white spot there, that white spot is actually a chalk, and that chalk is where their ear would be. Okay, so after you cut off your short piece, you want to go ahead and put it in the middle. So this is how you're going to build your shortcut going up. So every short piece that you cut off, you wanna go ahead and put it in the middle. Okay, so we just built it up and I just continued the same horseshoe up track placement all the way around. and secured it down with the ball pin. So now what I'm doing is I'm placing these face forward track placements. And this is gonna cause the hair to fall on their face.
and I do the other side the same exact way. So whatever you do on one side, you do on the other. Okay, and then I just did a few face forward tracks going in that direction. So after that, I just continue doing the horseshoe pattern. And for more control, you want to, you know, put ball pin in the middle as you go around the crown of the mannequin head. Okay, so after you do all that, this is what it looks like. After you do your horseshoe placements, it's going to get to a point where you can't form horseshoes. So now you have to go straight across. And this is what it looks like. Okay, and then you have a little small piece up there. You can add one or two rows. So after this last row, you're complete. And this is what it looks like before we pluck it, cut it, and then style it. Thanks for watching. Till next time. And don't forget to hit subscribe.